Hello everybody, and welcome back to am uh, not Amnesia, Slender the Arrival. Now, um, I was watching Dezorian play some things, and he mentions that when he plays horror games, he turns up the volume really loudly. I tried to do that, and unfortunately, because I use a headset mic, it's picked up very, very easily in the headset mic, so I have to keep it somewhat low so that it doesn't get picked up one day if I get, like, see, this setup works perfectly fine for me, but for the horror games, if I want to get myself really scared, turning up the audio is a perfect way to do so. But we're going to go ahead and get back into the uh, into the abyss now. I know I said I'd play back into it a little bit. I just remembered I said that before I started this recording. Actually, just right now while I just started the recording. Um, but unfortunately, I'm not going to do that because I'm pretty much just going to run straight there. Um, I pretty much have picked up everything, so it should still be in the scrapbook. If for some odd reason it doesn't give me achievement for finding everything... Uh, we, can, we can test it quickly and see if it says add it to scrapbook or not. If it doesn't say add it to scrapbook, we'll be fine. Um, I'm not going over that house. There's a item this way. Now you can hear when the music cues up here, right about here. It cues up over there, too. There's uh, two key point starts. I guess it could just be like a barrier around. So when you enter from any direction, it starts it up. So we read this. Okay. Nope. They were they've been added to scrapbooks, so we don't need to find them again. Um, that's right, because we found this one in like the first episode. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Just remember what I'm getting into. I am not excited, folks. Not at all excited. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. I just adjusted my mic a little bit. It's a flexible mic. Oh, no. Tempt the door. Oh, no. Here it is. I do apologize. You may end up hearing some things in the microphone at some points in the games I play. I'm still gonna get scared even with the audio low, but I just I I don't I want this to be the best experience for you guys more or less than for me because I've played this game before. Again, it was gosh so long ago. Like you might think me a hypocrite because I believe I said in the first video that I watched that I was that Jordan did a live stream and I watched it. Yeah, I was there, but I I watched him play it several times when it first came out. There were a couple iterations of the game that were out around that time anyway. Dad, don't get stuck on me now. Um, but, like, I wasn't really watching it to watch the gameplay. I was there because I enjoy... Um... I enjoy watching Dezorian, and I I already knew about the game. I mean, come on, I've played it before. But what the difference is, is even if I were to watch someone play it, unless I watch them play it a lot, <laughs> it won't matter. That eight pages section, the pages randomly spawn. In this section, the generators randomly spawn. So the generators are not going to be in the same place for every playthrough. There may be a set number of places they can be in might be choosing from those said number of places, but it's... Oh, I want to see something. Oh, gosh. It's not... The elevator is unpowered. I know, it's unpowered. Six generators. Oh, this part. Um... <laughs> you can tell I'm scared because I am t purposely delaying a little bit. Um, it's not... Basically, this game is not a game that even if I watched it and then played it, my reactions would change. This game is one of the scariest games I've played. This and uh, Amnesia The Dark Descent are the two 
that I can never play Outlast, if I haven't played it after a while, I'm sure I can get scared of it. But I used to play it all the time, and it got to the point where I could speedrun. I have a video up on my channel of me speedrunning Outlast. That was when I could, I wasn't scared of it at all. I'd have to pick it up again, and who knows, maybe at this point I'm not scared of that game anymore. Because I know where all the enemies are, I know what I have to do to get from point A to point B and beat the game. Sorry if you hear fireworks. That's another thing. It's two minutes till New Year's. So I'm recording this. That's another thing I wanted to mention. I am recording this on New Year's Eve, going into New Year's. So this will be both 2019 and 2020. Uh, the last recording of 2019 and the first recording of 2020. Not the first posted video, uh, but the, the, uh, the last recording I'll ever record of 2019. And the very first one starting the new year. It's quite sad to see 2019 go, but anyway, gotta get this going, oh no, <laughs> I have surround sound headset too, okay, 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 I need to be able to listen. This will come in. Okay. Not there. So we are actually facing two enemies. Um Red glow means that there's a generator nearby. But where? Well, I mean, it would be right where that. Oh, here. Okay. Okay, um. Oh! Nope. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, is she coming up? Oh, she's coming up. Oh, no. Oh, run, run, run. Hold on, it's doing the stupid thing again. You're going to see my recording thing. I, I can't listen to the, the that popping. I don't know why it's doing that popping, but it's annoying. Sorry, give me a second. You're going to hear it. Disconnect and then reconnect. I just unplugged literally everything and plugged it all back in because I, I can't stand to hear that popping. It takes me out of the horror game. Makes me wonder why I purchased a card. It does it so often. It upsets me. I don't know why it does it. Oh, hey, it's the new year. It's 1201. Happy new year, everybody. For me, it's 2020. Uh, for you, it's been 2020 for probably a couple days now. <laughs> uh, but it's official 2020, and a video just released on my channel. Fun fact. Uh, but it is officially 2020 now. Happy New Year, everybody. Okay, now back to me screaming my head off. Um, no sound. You know, that's all good. Try that again. Shall we? Great way to start off the new year. <laughs> Can't even finish a recording. I'm not deleting this, by the way. Whatever this is. Great. That's useful. I'm going to restart my um, game capture software and maybe, maybe that'll work. 
So we're gonna, we're gonna try this again. Hopefully the game audio. There we go. Waiting for it to go full screen. Now. Here we go. Right about now. Boom. Look at that. Almost on cue. Okay. And <laughs> damn it. Okay. I was going to do something else next to it. Right about now. There you go. That was right on cue. Okay. Okay, I can't run anymore. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, as I said, dealing. Oh, Slendy. I don't remember where the other generators are. Happy New Year, everybody. Me getting scared. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell? I don't know where that came from. Oh, I got an achievement. Get me out of here. Except to see 10 failed pause attempts. Oh, that's not good. Really? Apparently there's one for doing it 30 times too. Why am I playing this game? Seed 50 failed pause attempts. Pause. Pause attempts. Oh! 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 Shoot. Um... I think I broke the game. I was doing the pause thing again. Oh no, don't make me restart this section. I have like four or five. Come on, load. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I don't want to restart this section. I was doing so good. Oh no, don't you do this to me. It's doing it to me. 
As you see there, I started up the 360 version and starting getting some achievements on there, because as I said, I'd complete that. I'm quite upset now. Um, <laughs> I may cut some of this out, or this is going to be a long video. Okay, well, I gotta, I gotta get in there and I gotta get going because I had probably four or five of them done. I pretty much had all of them done. I definitely had three. I think I had four. I think I had, I think I may have had five. I don't know how many I had. I was really close though. Come on. Apparently don't know which way I'm going. So actually, New Year's Day, I haven't posted the video yet, but New Year's Day will be the first Slender the Arrival video at about 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know why I'm saying it in a video that's going to come up like, what, four, three or four videos after the rest of them, but I am. Unless something happens and I, um, I choose to release, this is two parts, which I may... I may just have to stop the recording at like 20 minutes and start it back up again. Because, um, once we get past like t 30 minutes, my audio starts desyncing. Uh, and I really don't like that. It makes it a lot harder to edit because I have to keep on trying to realign. And this game, there won't be many, um, many ways to tell if I can realign it or not. Just simply because of the fact. Um, hey, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just stop the recording. This is all going to probably stay as one video. I'm just going to stop the recording, though, and um, start it back up so that everything's uh, aligned. So give me one second. Okay, everybody. I am back, and the recording is restarted. I've not really ever done that, so that's going to be annoying at the most to do. Okay. So we're going to try to speed run this. I'm not going to quite run a lot right now. So I know that there are things like in the eight pages section that are hidden and behind like in, in corners. And if you get trapped by Slender there, you're done for. If you get trapped there by, I believe that's supposed to be Kate, by the way, that white thing following us around. Hopefully I don't get caught by either of them. Okay, so there should be one in here. There's always one in this section somewhere. Or not. Well, in that case, I'm going to do the back hallways first. These rooms are the big ones to check first. Because if you get trapped in them, it's not going to end well. I like this one. And now it truly begins. I have no idea where Kate starts. I'm gonna. What the hell? What the heck? I've never heard that before. Okay. Just breathe. Go this way.
There's one. Just be coming from down there, please. I hear her. And she is coming from down. Oh, oh. She's coming behind me. Oh, great. Ow. Looks like he's gone. Shoot. Oh, come on, Slendy. I think that was the last one. Okay. Get back to the middle. Come on. Oh, shoot. She can attack you, by the way, when you go onto the middle thing, so. Don't. You dare do that to me. That's not the I have so little stamina. Okay, okay, this is it. Oh, oh Slendy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. 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 Mm. I didn't beat the section under five minutes, though. It's an achievement for being that under five minutes. That's going to be annoying. Because the game freaking lags. Apparently, there's also a glitch where you can fall through there if you don't run sometimes. So that was a bit of a worrisome thing to do. But, oh my gosh. Okay, progress saved in the scene selection menu. Okay, well, we're gonna go back because that is gonna be the end of this video. I was looking at only at six minutes, I was like, I gotta do more, don't I? But I don't because this is gonna be tagged on to the end of the last one, so it'll actually probably be only like 26 minutes. And just to check, there we are, we're gonna be in flashback next. Which I am not recording today, and I probably won't record for probably two more days-ish, because tomorrow, New Year's is going to be quite packed for me. So, yeah, that's bound to happen. But anyway, that should just about do it for this video on Slender the Arrival. <laughs> that terrified me. Um, okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.